Did you know Python 3.14 is getting a brand new interpreter that could make your code up to 30% faster? But here's the twist. It does this using something called tail calls. So, what are tail calls? Why should you care? And what happens if Python doesn't use them? All right, so Python 3.14 is currently an alpha, and it's sneaking in something huge, a new type of interpreter. Instead of one big C-switch statement for running your code, it now uses tiny functions for each operation and jumps between them using something called tail calls. Why? Because this approach makes better use of the CPU and modern compilers, especially with Clang 19 or newer. And the result? Early tests show Python code running up to 30% faster with a conservative estimate of 3-5% to speed up on average. Okay, but wait, what are tail calls? And why are they a big deal? Let's break it down. When a function calls another function as its very last action, that's a tail call. Here's a quick example. When greet runs, it immediately calls the say hello function and does nothing else afterward. That's a tail call. Now normally, Python keeps track of function calls in something called the call stack. Each new function call adds a new frame to the stack. And when the stack gets too deep, boom, recursion error. But with tail call optimization, the interpreter can be smart. It says, I don't need to keep the old frame. I'll just reuse it. This saves memory and avoids stack overflow. Here's the catch. CPython doesn't optimize tail calls. It never has. And just to be super clear, the new interpreter in Python 3.14 does not add tail call optimization for Python code. Nope. It just uses tail calls internally in the C code that runs your Python. So you still can't do this safely. Python will blow the stack here because it keeps every single call frame. So what does the new interpreter actually do? Under the hood, Python's interpreter is basically a loop that executes instructions one by one. In older versions, it used a massive switch statement in C to jump between opcodes. In the new model, Python splits each opcode into its own tiny function. And instead of calling them like normal, it uses tail calls between them. Why is this better? Because modern compilers like Clang 19 or above are able to optimize tail calls way more efficiently than huge switch statements. Result? Better use of CPU pipelines, better cache locality, and less overhead from jumping around. The speedup is subtle but real. And since this is all under the hood, you don't have to change your code at all. So that's it. If you found this helpful, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more Python goodness. See you in the next one.